Hello and welcome to another IP camera review. If you enjoy this review or have watched our previous videos, please like and subscribe to help our channel grow. Today we'll review the D-Link DCS5222L. We'll take a look at its setup, design and hardware, and its performance. Similar to the DCS2332L, getting through the setup wizard for this camera was short and straightforward. The interface makes it easy to understand what needs to be done and it only took me a few minutes to get the camera started and another two minutes to configure the camera with CamCloud's cloud recording service. I like that D-Link gives you the flexibility to access the camera the way you want to use it. If you want to use D-Link's My D-Link service and not bother configuring your network, then you're good. Unfortunately, the My D-Link service doesn't offer any cloud storage. If you're interested in cloud storage, I highly suggest you sign up for a free plan on CamCloud to get more out of your camera. While the D-Link 2332L had a solid sturdy design, the 5222L has a cheap plastic feel to it. This camera is made for in-home use only, but at the same time, I still felt that this outer shell was a bit weak. The pan tilt controls combined with the 10x digital zoom gave me some good flexibility in the amount of room I wanted to cover. The camera also has four silver LED lights around the lens. These are infrared lights that activate once night vision is turned on. If you'd like, it also has a micro SD card slot. The camera's strangest function is its focus knob. There is a circular knob around the lens of the camera that you can turn to change the camera's focus. If there's a way to do this automatically, D-Link have made it difficult to find. I'm not sure why this was necessary in the first place, once I turned the knob to hit the sweet spot, I didn't feel that it was necessary to change the focus again. For the price, video quality is okay. Once you go further than 10 feet, things start getting a bit blurry. The quality is good enough to be in a living room, but anything more than that, such as a long hallway or a parking lot, and this camera just won't do the job. The camera is advertised to be used in-house, such as using it as a pet cam, so in that case the quality is good enough, but not as good as the D-Link 2332L, which has better video quality and falls under the same price range, though it doesn't have pan tilt functionality. Night vision was just as good as expected. The far distance blur effect was still there, but it's definitely clear enough to be used in the living room. Setting it up on CamCloud was easy. The live video feed was very clear, allowing me to see exactly what was going on in the office remotely from my home, while the videos in the timeline were playing clearly. Lastly, the camera's configuration gives you quite a bit to play with, including adjusting the brightness, saturation, and contrast. The settings also has five different exposure modes to choose from, including indoor and outdoor. Overall, I'm satisfied with the camera's capabilities. D-Link has made some strange design decisions placing the focus knob outside the camera, as well as using cheap material to protect the outside of the camera. The video feed is an improvement over the DCS5020L, but gets a bit blurry once you go further than 10 feet away from the camera. For the price, there are definitely better cameras out there, such as the D-Link 2332L and the Hikvision IR Mini Bullet Cam. If you're looking for an IP camera with pan tilt functionality to use in-house, this camera gets my thumbs up. For more IP camera reviews, like and subscribe to this video and head on to blog.camcloud.com. And on that note, until next time.